Almost two months after a fire that destroyed the old Doan Stewart Kenwood campus, uh, that school now holding a remembrance event, trying to bring closure to their community. News 10's Anthony Krolikowski shares how the school is honoring their past while healing together going forward. The Doan Stewart School took time to reflect on the old Kenwood campus with alumni and current students. They say that what was taught back then is still alive and well in today's school. The memorial was attended in high spirits. Stories were shared and songs were sung in an effort to look back on good times. Marcy Cathy, Doan Stewart's head of school, says those times have gone all too quickly. The campus burned at the end of March. While we had moved from that uh, location in 2009, it's still very much a part of our history. The cause of the fire is still unknown. The school sharing of News 10, they were heartbroken to hear of the tragedy. As far as I know, there hasn't been any new discoveries made about what caused the fire. Kathy says the school was able to salvage some pieces of the burned campus, bring them to their new campus in Rensselaer. No matter where you go throughout our building, you will see glimpses and artifacts from the Kenwood campus, from the St. Agnes campus. Teachers of the school shared their view on the value of their work, passing information through many generations. I have said more than once, at what other school could you find three-year-olds and 100-year-olds interacting and sharing on a daily basis? Alums shared that the remembrance brought them peace, looking back on good times. To come together and really support one another about the pain that we were feeling um, during that time. And it feels good to move forward. Alum Angela Ledke says she's grateful to share her experiences at Don't Store with her children who attend. The education being taught has stood the test of time in Ledke's eyes. They're learning all the things that I remember from my experience at Don't Store. Different campus, just, they just moved homes, that's all. Reporting in Rensselaer, Anthony Krolkowski, News 10, ABC.